Pokemon Go not only brings a great opportunity of branding and advertisement for brands inside the game, but it will also help generate traffic to the point of sales due to the, to the nature of the game. Users are spending 33 minutes per day on the app, which is far surpassing Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. More than 15 million downloads in a week is impressive by any standard. The question is whether or not Nintendo's augmented reality will bring on a new era of brand marketing. It's superimposed on the real world, so users aren't just engaging with a product, they're integrating it into their own worlds. The true magic of this technology, and the reason I think it'll change marketing and branding, is that it allows companies to communicate by showing instead of telling it in a whole new way. For the brands, Pokemon Go means the call to action with a global scale. It's the joker in the same moment of truth. It's the coexistence between the digital and the reality. There's some studies that show that uh, you know, some of the businesses saw a 75% increase in profit profitability. These are businesses no one was even going to before Pokemon came out, and now they are just booming with activity. Uh, we need to follow these trends. People want more experience, more engagement, and more emotional links with their brands. But other brands who are wanting to take up augmented reality, they have to ask themselves, how and where will it fit into their marketing mix? as they should do for any new advanced technology. If you're innovative, this is an opportunity to develop some immersive content for early adopters. But for most other brands, the opportunity will be probably through advertising and visibility within Pokemon Go and other augmented reality games down the road. No single industry stands to benefit from Pokemon Go more than retail. But the catch em all craze won't be appropriate for everyone. Many retailers are trying to answer these type of tough questions quickly. There are these Pokestops within the game that people can place lures there that will attract the monsters, that will attract the trainers. So you can do the same for your businesses. Placing Pokestops within your restaurants, your stores, doesn't matter. It will allow for larger customers, more paying customers. I think that the biggest opportunity really lies in using lures. Um, we've seen so many examples from professional sports teams to restaurants, really pulling in those um, audience members that they might not always have you know, the opportunity to reach. Lure them into the neighborhood through uh, trainers is one of the best ways. Uh, that's through uh, claiming as many uh, Pokemon as gyms is a great way to do it or get the trainers uh, totally committed. Also, while Pokemon Go might be a fad that no one plays in about a month, it really shows how users are using their mobile phones to interact with the world around them, which is especially great for brick and mortar stores. Next, what you'll see is people using this technology in a great uh, organic way to fully integrate the digital and real life experience for customers, employees. This could be, you know, people being able to see related items in a store on their screen. It can actually be used as a tool within employer branding as well. As a millennial, I know firsthand that the game can be played in many different ways based on who you are. For companies, this means you can target information based on personality traits. One of the ways that brands can take advantage of the Pokemon Go craze is to understand which characters are most demand in your particular areas. With Pokemon Go, showing how engaging it can be to see digital imagery, in this case, adorable animated creatures in a real world environment, brands will start to get inspired for how they can apply this to marketing content beyond games. If you think about it, every brand wants to try and become part of the daily lives of the people they're appealing to. And while we all maybe remember some of the things we're told, we remember a lot more of the things we do. Now take virtual augmented reality, Google review, rating sites, location programs, throw them all into a blender and the outcome could be significant. It's a whole new way for brands to approach customer engagement, entertainment, and loyalty, and could set up a new set of customer expectations of brands.